The word of God in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says, It is Christ who lives in me. I am crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live. But it is Christ who lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live in faith, the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me, my God. He said, this life that I live is the life of Christ. Dear child of God, I want you to come to that point of realizing that you have a divine life. You have the life of Christ. You have the life of God. And you shouldn't allow anything to toil with your life. Dear child of God, there is a special mark upon your life. There is something that has distinguished you, dear child of God. There is something that has separated you. And you must come to that point of realizing that you have a life above the realms of the earth. You have a life that is secured in God. Paul was speaking, he said, I do no longer live in the flesh. Be a child of God, when you allow yourself controlled by the dictator of the flesh, you find yourself struggling. You find yourself not growing. You find yourself crippled. You find yourself not making the advancement that you want to make. Many times you allow yourself come to that point of thinking because you are mortal, because you have the tendency to fail, because you have the tendencies to err. That is to say anything can just go on in your life. Dear child of God, you should come to that point of knowing and realizing the life that you are carrying right now is the life of Christ. And imagine everything that Christ did on the face of the earth. And begin to appropriate them into your life. Dear child of God, imagine all that Jesus could accomplish with the time he spent on the face of the earth. And imagine how much more you can. Because he also said that greater things shall you do. Dear child of God, come to that point where you have the embodiment of Christ upon you. You don't have a low life, dear child of God. You have the Zoe life. You have the abundant life. The word of God says that he calls you out of darkness so that you would demonstrate his light. You are not a life living in darkness, dear child of God. You are a life living in the light. Dear child of God, I repeat, you are not a life living in darkness. You are a life living in light. And God has dealt with the works of darkness through the things that Christ came to accomplish on the face of the earth. Come to that point of knowing and realizing that you have the resurrected one living inside of you. Christ is no longer dead. Dear child of God, he has resurrected. And you should come to the realization of the fact that everything around you can be living. Everything around you can be living in the nature and in the pattern of Christ. You are beyond this realm. Dear child of God, don't allow the forces of this earth, don't allow the forces of the works of darkness get a hold of you. You see, Jesus said that the God of this world cometh, the Prince of the air cometh, but he has nothing in me. There is nothing that he has in me because Jesus knew that he had the extraordinary life. Yes, he died. He came to that point of paying the price for us. But had he decided to remain up until this time, Jesus would have lived from that time up until now. Dear child of God, I'm not saying that there will be no time for somebody to die as a mortal. Yes, I'm not saying so, but I'm simply saying there is a life that you carry. And the times you have to spend on the face of the earth, you must come to the realization of the truth. That this life that you live, this life that you have, is not a life that you should allow to see destroyed. It's a life that you should have the mindset to see that it transcends into the life internal, into the life everlasting. And that cannot happen until you have the life of Christ, until you think like Christ. The word of God in Philippians 2 verse 5 says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Jesus paid the price for you. He gave you the life that he had, so that you can live that life on the face of the earth, so that you don't struggle, dear child of God, so that you don't come to that point of being buffeted night and day. He said, It is Christ who lives in me. He said, I am crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live. That was what you understood later on when he said that he died daily. Dear child of God, he came to that point of realizing himself that he needed to die every day because that life of Christ died and a fresh life came into being. And that is the resurrected life. 
make sure that the mortal life is the flesh the body that is not going to do so much in the face of god make sure it is not overwhelming your spiritual life that is the life of christ the child of god has struggles every day with your flesh but when you come to realize that it is christ who lives in you when you come to realize that you are crucified with christ when you come to realize that it is no longer you that is living but it is christ who lives in you and the life that you now live in the flesh you live by faith the faith of the son of god who loved you and gave himself up for you he said he loved you and he gave himself that is he relinquished himself to you he said to you carry on with my life dear child of god think of it for a second for him to give up himself for you saying to you carry on with this life that i have lived dear child of god have you made the most of the life of christ because if you say you are a follower of god it means that you have received the life of christ if you say that you have turned your life to jesus if you say that you have let go of the fleshy world, I mean the life of the flesh, and you have taken upon yourself the life of Christ, there are some characters, some things that you should do and some things that you shouldn't be found doing. And it is time that you become conscious of this. Dear child of God, it is time that you become conscious of this. It is not everything that you should find yourself doing as a child of the light. The word of God says, in him was life, and the life was the light of man. Dear child of God, the light of man. I told you, you don't live in the life of darkness. You live in the life of light. Let your life be demonstrating the goodness of God. Let your light be demonstrating the expressions of Christ. It is Christ who is in you, dear child of God. He says, though the body is dead because of sin, Yet the spirit is alive. Dear child of God, it says the spirit is alive in Romans 8 verse 10. It says the spirit is alive because of righteousness. Come to that point where you make up your mind. That righteousness will rule your life. Dear child of God, don't come to that point of saying because you are weak, because you are mortals, because you live in a world of sin. So you must allow yourself to be perfected at all times. You have this Zoe life. You have the internal life and you have to be conscious that you are not allowing anything to terminate that life. So say to yourself every day, if Christ is in me, if Christ is alive in me, then I must have a spirit that is conscious of God, that is in consonance to the dictates of God. Don't allow yourself to fall because of the struggles of life, because of the challenges of life. It is Christ that is living in you. So think of everything that Christ had accomplished on the face of the earth. Think of everything that Christ was able to do, dear child of God. Think of everything that Christ could testify of. He said the God of this world cometh, and he has nothing in me. Dear child of God, you can live so consciously up until the point when you can say that. Because what Christ is expecting, what God is expecting from us, is that we live in the consciousness of himself. God had given himself to you, that is, by giving you Christ. So the nature of God is the nature you can also have. You see, the word of God stated very clear. It says, be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Dear child of God, many times you have heard that this is not a possibility, that no man is perfect, no one can be perfect. But when you consciously think, like christ when you come to that point of allowing him walk in you and do all the things that you should be found doing you will see yourself making progress every day until the full nature of christ is already demonstrated and found and seen in your life please be conscious of your soul dear child of god because that last adam which is jesus we understood became a life-giving spirit you are meant to give life, not to destroy life, dear child of God. You are meant to strengthen people, not to cause them to be down, not to cause them to be discouraged, not to cause them to lose the power of God. There is something in you that God wants to use to gain expression daily in the face of the earth. So everywhere you go, please profess it that you have the nature and the life of Christ. Don't be ashamed about it, dear child of God. Tell yourself, 
you can boldly achieve the things that Jesus did achieve on the face of the earth. Do you understand what it means when it says greater works shall you do? That is, you will do more than I have done, dear child of God. So Christ gave up himself for you. So you can continue the task and do more. Because in the face of the earth now, we are the Christ that the people should be seeing, that the people around our community should be seeing. So have you done everything to see that you have represented Christ well? That the life that he has given to you, the life that you now live, the life that was called out of darkness to demonstrate the light of God is exactly what you are doing. If not, dear child of God, it means we are missing the mark. It means that we are missing the whole point. I pray that God will help us to express the life, the life of Jesus, that everywhere we go, someone will look at us and indeed the reason why we are called Christians will be made known. They called them Christians. They called them because they were like Christ. They began to do like Christ. They began to follow the nature of Christ. They said, these people resemble the Christ that once lived around this community. That was where Christian was first given the name Christian in Antioch. Dear child of God, that is, they had the expression of Christ. You can have that expression of Christ even in this present time. The word of God says, as he is, so we are on the face of the earth. Dear child of God, everything that Jesus had accomplished, everything that Jesus was able to accomplish with the consciousness of God, with the help of the Holy Spirit, with you asking the Lord God to help you every day, you can find yourself accomplishing these things as well. I pray that the Lord God of heaven will help you and cause you to be a great success on the face of the earth. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. Shalom.